Hello, Jim Murray with Tax Assurances. Just want to do a quick video about dividend income. So every so often I'll sit down with the client and they'll have dividend income that they got from a brokerage account. Now it's okay if the dividends aren't that significant. So say for instance, it's $50 a year, that's not a big deal. But if it's a few thousand dollars or tens of thousands of dollars a year that um, someone's receiving in dividend income, what they wanna do is they wanna talk with their brokerage firm about taking out enough in taxes every year. So usually dividends are paid usually in like December of every year. And what you wanna do is you wanna have your brokerage firm take out enough in taxes for that dividend income. So what you look at is you look at your overall income. So let's say you're getting a regular W-2 uh, that you're getting at the end of the year, you're getting social security, you're getting, let's say a pension or something like that, and your spouse is getting income. You wanna look at your overall total income. And then from there, you wanna find out what your tax bracket is. Once you find out your tax bracket, then you can turn to your brokerage firm and say, hey, broker, I am making, uh, I'm actually, my, me and my family are in, let's say, the 25% tax bracket. Because of that, you want to now have 25% of your dividend income tax. So that's something that brokerage firms can do. You want to have that conversation, and that way you don't have a surprise tax bill when it comes tax time. So again, just a little bit of advice, when you get dividend income, you want to have them take out the appropriate amount in taxes.